Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Facebook group, which is, is a Prince Mila Entertainment TV. We're available on Twitter at PMilaENT. Follow us on Twitter and we follow back. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Today is the 15th of uh, January uh, 2022. And uh, so guys, here's the latest, latest news that uh, you need to know. You need to know this, and yeah. So, our uh, schools may only be able to reopen in three weeks at the earliest, depending on the progress in limiting COVID 19 infection, with acting president Constantino Chuenga yesterday extending the level two lockdown by a further two weeks. The acting president, however, held out hope when he said schools would have at least one week after the present extension to get ready for reopening. The school term, which had been set to open this week, was deferred two weeks ago when it became obvious that the fast-falling infection rates had suddenly hit a plateau at a very unsafe level. The plateau of infection continued until late last week, and while average rates have been falling since then, the fall is slow and average daily new cases are as two at almost at 20 times higher as what we are seen between the third and fourth waves when schools were able to reopen in a statement yesterday acting president chuenga confirmed the extension of the level 2 covid 19 national lockdown by a further two weeks besides schools remained closed this maintains the 7 pm business closing times and the 9 pm curfew along with masking social distancing and other public health measures while schools remain closed and since no one knows how fast the fourth wave will recede acting president chuenga was unable to give an opening date but he did establish a warning period for any reopening schools will be given at least one week after the two-week lockdown extension to put preventive public health measures in place before the commencement of the general school calendar depending on the prevailing covid 19 situation at that time said the acting president was also the health minister in child care he implored teachers and eligible learners to take advantage of the national vaccination program and get vaccinated before the resumption of face-to-face -face classes as with other civil servants teachers in the public service are now vaccinated and the vaccination rates were high for the senior forms late last year when 16 and 17 year olds were included in the national program but since then a lot we have moved from lower forms into the vaccination forms and now need their jobs teachers and students will be required to wear face masks while in class all eligible teachers and students are encouraged to be vaccinated for covid 19 before the opening of schools enforcement officers are encouraged to conduct regular assessments of compliance in learning institutions at least on a weekly basis said vp chiwenga the provincial task force teams are exhorted to strengthen their efforts of mobilizing all those eligible to get vaccinated he said the acting president encouraged the public to wear face masks sanitize wash hands with soap and avoid crowds and gatherings especially when not wearing face masks while having meals and drinks Zimbabwe avoided a spike in infections during the festive season constructed to the previous year, which was attributed partly to irresponsible behavior. During the just-ended festive season, the government praised Zimbabweans for their resilience in the face of COVID-19, urging everyone to remain vigilant and continue following expert advice to register totally victory against the global pandemic. Last year, the government succeeded in putting in place adequate measures informed by the World Health Organization guidelines to ensure schools reopen safely. This minimized the, eff the effects of the pandemic on people and this week the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education said it was seized with putting in place measures for a safe resumption of classes. So guys, that's the latest here. And uh, yes, that's the latest regarding to Nyaya. Coming from the acting president, our Constantino Chiwenga. And uh, at this rate, I have to think that uh, to actually keep your kids busy, uh, to keep your children busy, I should say, I think that's the best way. Otherwise, if you wait for the government uh, to do it for you, I don't know what I'm because at the moment, uh, the schools will be opening in February. So, generally, you say, no, you need to keep them busy. You need to uh, teach them how to read. So, as a parent, 
is your role now to make sure that your kids are actually doing something during this time and ngwa ri kumba ndika so that pano vrashikoroka ane ngato ni mgiya kudara ndika so this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince amila entertainment tv you don't have to wait uh kuti mwana azoenda kuchikoro muna february it's high time that uh, as parents we now need to teach our kids we now need to stand in ndika for that time whereby mwana pananga asiri kuchikoro ndika this is something that we need to do as parents otherwise so this is a uh, daily news breaking news everyday news on prince minanga tv remember guys to like share and comment and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that you upload each and every day schools are reopening later which means that uh, they'll be closing again in december and daily news breaking news everyday news on prince minanga tv bless up